Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I style my perm. I get this question every time I perm my hair, like when I post the videos on my YouTube channel. So I wanted to show you guys how I style my perm. If you guys want a video of all of my curly hair products that I love and that I have and that I use, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys wanna see that video because in this video, I'm only gonna be showing you guys three, but I literally have a shit ton of curly hair products that I love and that I kind of just like switch off like between. Styling my perm is actually pretty easy. I love having a perm because I can get straight out of the shower and like throw products in it and head out the door. Before we jump into the actual products that I use, I just wanna let you guys know that I don't wash my hair every day. That's one thing with a perm is that like, if you continuously wash your hair every single day, your perm is gonna fade faster. So I wash my hair every like three days. I think I wash my hair like two times a week maybe, one or two times a week depending on what I'm doing or what I can get away with. Some people think that's fucking weird, but I'm telling you, your natural oils are honestly the best thing for your hair. I do use dry shampoos, I use a lot of oils, I use a lot of hair masks, like those are things that I do like constantly. So if you guys want an actual curly hair routine and I can show you guys those things as well, let me know in the comment section and I'll make that video too. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling, let's just jump into the video. If you're not subscribed yet, click that subscribe button before we start and let's get into it. All right guys, so I just got the shower. I filmed this makeup tutorial, so if you're wondering about this makeup, it's already on my channel, so go ahead and check it out. <laughs> so this is what my hair looks like straight out the shower. The curls, I mean, are there, but we're gonna do some stuff to kind of zhuzh it up. So what I first do is I will kind of part it down the middle, right, like this. And first things first, I like to put some kind of oil in it. This is the um, OGX Coconut Milk, Nourishing Plus Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. I'll do one pump two pumps and then I'll kind of just work it through my hair like this. Rub it through middle to end just so the hair gets kind of moisturized a little bit. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite products that I barely discovered this year. This is the Pattern Styling Custard. It looks like a I don't know, it's not like a cream, but it's also not like a serum. It's almost like a gel, but a little bit more liquidy. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'll go in with a little bit of that. This one, I'll rub it to my hands to get it warm. Flip my hair over, and then whatever's left on my hands, I'll go up here at my roots, just very lightly. That way, whatever's curly up here isn't like frizzy and sticking out. And then I'll grab my hair, Go to the side and work it in. Do the same thing on the other side. Just work that product all the way down like this. And you wanna make sure that you rub out your roots because if not, you're gonna have like gunked up product in there. But these products actually do a really good job at not leaving any like white residue or anything. But I don't like my cheese spots to stick out. That's why I have to do them up here. Then I'll go ahead and get some more of that pattern stuff and I'll go ahead and flip my head over and run it through my hair again. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you could totally stop there because this pattern stuff is actually really good at giving it like a non crunchy hold anyway, but I like my curls to be intact like literally all day because I'm just out and about, thotting and bopping. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and add some Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel to it. This stuff is also really good at not making it really crunchy. So again, bringing my curls to the side and I do like not even a full pump. I just do like half a pump and I'll work that in to the hair here on the side. And make sure to get the ends of your hair because if not, those curls will fall out. And again, have a pump on the other side, doing the same thing. And then again, I'll do half a pump, flip my hair over and run it through.
And that's basically it. Guys, that's pretty much what I do. Once in a while, I'll like switch up the products that I put on my hair because I literally have like a whole drawer full of like different hair products that I like to try. But these three are like my staples right now. These guys and this guy. So after I put all the hair products in, I kind of just like let it just dry like this. I'll style it however I want to, like if I need to clip it up or if I'm doing like a pony or whatever. But if I let it dry like this, um, because I don't have like a set middle part, um, whenever I want to flip it to one side or the other, it's going to be like super voluminous. You know what I mean? Um, but the drier it gets, the more voluminous it gets. Does that make sense? So I try to just let it dry however it wants to dry. <laughs> and then I'm really like careless with it as the day goes on. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. These are my curls. That's my curly hair routine. <laughs> so yeah, this is it, guys. That is how I style my perm. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. I don't really like go, you know, that hard when it comes to the products I put in my hair. <laughs> I know a lot of other curly hair girlies, they will put like a shit ton of stuff in their hair. I feel like I do take care of my hair. I do hair masks very often. I do them like once every couple of weeks, if not definitely once a month. I like to do hair masks because it does keep the hair just really moisturized. And I do find that not washing your hair that often keeps the curls looking healthier. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.